All right, today we're going to look at making a robotic sounding voice in DaVinci Resolve. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. First off, I'm in the edit page. You can do this from the Fairlight page as well. Uh, there's really not any difference between the two and I'll kind of jump back and forth just to show you what I mean. But I'm in the edit page. The first way that you can do this is by using a default robot voice that they have built into their effects. So if you go down to your audio effects, you'll see we have this one flanger and I'm going to jump over to Fairlight real quick, go effects library, and you see we have the um, same thing here, flanger. So once again, you can do it from either page, whichever one you prefer. Take the flanger and drag and drop it onto your timeline and it's going to add that flanger. There's a default options here. Robot voice is one of the default options. Select lesson two, low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit is generally used for that. So it's kind of robotic, but personally, I don't think it's all that great. You can play with some of the settings and stuff, but I think there's a better way to do this. So I'm just gonna get out of here and notice what, I've still got that effect on here. If I go over to my inspector, and my effects, you can see I've got flanger here. It's still on there. I can simply disable it by clicking the little button here from red to gray, or I can delete it by clicking the delete effect. And same thing in the Fairlight screen. When I clicked on inspector, I clicked on that, and then we can go over to effects and we see. So it's all matched between the two pages. Okay, I'm not going to jump back and forth anymore now. Just wanted to emphasize that you can do it in either place. Now, how I'm going to do a robot effect is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to audio and inspector, and we've got this one here, this pitch, this default pitch one. I'm going to change my semitone to minus three, not a lot. So watch what happens when I play it. Managers looking for quick wins. You can see it's already getting that robotic effect. And if I go up, Stuff they can say. It's a bit higher pitched, a higher robotic effect. So it kind of depends on what you're going for. I'm going to go minus three. Doesn't need a lot of this. And with the sense, I'm going to drop this to around 50. Look how quickly I did that. Impressed? But mostly it's sounding my, making my voice kind of sound deeper and slower. I, not quite robotic. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add pitch again but I'm gonna add it from my effects. So I'm gonna grab pitch, I'm gonna drag and drop it onto here, and we'll get the pop-up. So I'm going to increase my semitones to about five. Generally it involves finding projects. There we go, sounding better. And I'm going to increase my sense to 100. Now I'm just turning it, or you can just click into it and dial 100. Hit enter, whoops, accidentally hit enter, and there was one more thing I wanted to change. That's okay, because I can go over to effects. I've got the pitch here and my dry weight. I can drop that a, a little bit as well. Instead of easy, a set of tasks measures goals that can be achieved. There you go, so semi-robotic. You can play with it as much as you want. You can adjust the effects. You could even add that flanger effect as well, notice we've got it here, and play with it some, so I'm gonna go robot voice. Achieved within a short period of time. It's really quiet, so I'm gonna need to adjust my levels a little bit, and I'm gonna drop the amount just a bit as well, the feedback yes. amount. Basically what they're saying is, let's... So you can kinda of see, you can play around with it a little bit, but that's really the ways to do it. Again, I don't like the flanger, so I'm just gonna click it off or delete it and go with what I have there. As always, hope you found this useful. Have a good day.